Hello, it's me, Thundercloud. My mum calls me James, and I'm here in the Australian Poetry Hall of Fame in Gyra. I'm very, 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 very excited today because well, two wonderful things have happened. First of all, see these old theatre seats over here? A very good friend of mine has um, kindly donated uh, some money to buy 33 new, well, second-hand theatre seats that came out of an old theatre. And someone said they came out of a theatre in Gyra. Now, I'm not too sure, but they'll be delivered next week and I'll need a bit of a scrub up. Now, the other thing I'm really excited about is over here is the Australian Poetry Library and Archive. Now, at last count, it had approximately 180 or 190 books in it preserving Australian poetry. So I'm here and my mate Len walks in and he's got a big package for me. So what, I have, what do I do? This is it, this package, and it comes from someone by the surname of Doyle at um, Engadine in New South Wales, and the postcode is 2233. Now, there's no, um, no other hints as to where it's come from apart from someone by the name of, surname of Doyle, but look what was in it, I'll show you. A whole bunch of really important Australian poetry. And now that is the whole point of the Australian Poetry Library and Archive over there, is to preserve important and Australian literature and poetry that may be out of print. Now I'll give you a good example. So this is the very first one that was on top. It's a very old pamphlet, doesn't even have a, a publishing date. Um, and it's by Australian Original Australian Verse by J. Sweeney, copyright. This little book of simple verse, interesting, if not thrilling, surely worth its modern cost, just half price, at a shilling. So it's pretty old. Um, printed by Tomlin and Wigmore Printers in Sydney. And, um, yeah, I'll, I'll read you something out of it. It's by this guy... Jay Sweeney. Um, and now, why is this important? This is important because little books like this, there might have only been, you know, a few, a few runs of it or a few thousand printed. And it, most of them could have been sitting on someone's shelves and thrown away. Who knows? Um, a thought. Feathered warblers in the bushes and the rivers full of fish as the torrent as it rushes down the mountainside. Flowers... Beautify the bushes isolated in or clusters, the rainbow on the waterfall and the motion of the tide. All proclaim a vivid story of the wisdom, power and glory of him who rules the elements and made mountain, sea and sky. Ned Kelly was a gentleman. There's another one. Um, and then there's all, you know, God's acre of... Bardia, the Sydney slums. So this, this, you know, records history in verse form. Now, Wandai Shire Council, so I really don't know the date of printing of this, but it's a very old book, and it's going into the Australian Poetry Library and Archive. So if you've got old poetry books that you would like to preserve, because, see, a lot of people buy poetry books and then they never read them. Now, I'll show you another example. Um, this one here, this Dorothy Porter book, um, The Night Parrot. And you can tell it's hardly ever been read because even the, even the spine is not even broken. Um, then there's this one here, Young Poets, an Australian anthology with Elizabeth Campbell, Bonnie Cassidy, Sarah Holland Bat, L.K. Holt, Graham Mills, Simon West, Petra White. Um, February 2012 and published in um, 2011 by John Leonard Press with a grant from the Australian Council, Australia Council. More. Um, this one here. This one's cool. Um, Australia's Kakadu Man, Bill Nedji. Nedji. 
Um, and now if, uh, that's him there, that's him there. This was published in 1986. Now, I don't know how many copies of this were made, but it's a pretty cool book. And I'm going to read to you out of this um, Kakadu Man by Bill Neji. Law. Law never change, always stay same. Maybe it hard, but proper one for all people. Not like white European law, always changing if you don't like it, you can change. Aboriginal law never change. Old people tell us you got to keep it. It always stays. So, yeah, um, wow, very, very, very fortunate to have received this from Mr. or Mrs. Doyle of Engadine. So I do say thank you very much from my heart for not just me, the Australian Poetry Hall of Fame archive, but all Australian people who these books will be preserved for and shared in the Australian Poetry Library and Archive. And if you've got books on your shelf that you would like to send here to the Australian Poetry Hall of Fame in Gyra, address it to Australian Poetry Hall of Fame, 144 Bradley Street, Gyra. And there's more. And wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. So we've got the Gargoyle the Gargoy or Goyle Poets by Graham Rowlands, who was born in Brisbane in 1947. He's at present in the Australian Studies Department at Flinders University. Stairs and Statues is his first published book of verse. So if he's still alive, um, that would make Graham Rowlands uh, 70, uh, 73 years old. Um, so this was um, wow, printed in... 1972, as I was only two and I'm now 51-ish. Australianites, poems by Will Carter. This one here, Motherlode. Um, Australian women's poetry. Um, it's got, edited by Jennifer Harrison and Kate Waterhouse. And look at that. It's hardly even been opened. It's, it's still stiff there. It's got one... One red thing in it, which I'm going to open to that page, and I'll read it for you. Sorry. Sorry for expecting you to understand the torment of our lives, or expecting you to be able to reconcile the present with the past and show remorse for the wrongs of successive governments. Yesterday wasn't that long ago, you know, I'm still searching for my mother. Where's yours? Um, Anita Heiss, Brisbane, 2002. So, yeah, Australian Poetry Hall of Fame, Poetry Library and Archive, preserving poetry books for all of Australians and people of all the world for all time here in Gyra. So if you've got books, please send them. That you, poetry books that you're not going to read. And this is really important because a lot of Australia's great liter, lit, literati poets and writers are now out of print and they're not even available in ebook form. So they're sitting on people's shelves and they get boxed up when people get old and die or whatever. They get put in the garage, they get wet and damp and then they get thrown out. We're here preserving them for all people for all time in this library. Which, with this little group of poetry books, brings up the collection to about 200 poetry books of all different genres from right around Australia. I'm Thundercloud, washing away the garbage, leaving rainbows after rains. Everybody knows my mum that called me James. And I'm here at the Australian Poetry Hall of Fame. Thank you very much. Have a beautiful day.